welcome everybody to my Cheyenne Hawk pen tutorial. Finally, it's here! So, let's get right to it. The, high end, the Cheyenne Hawk pen, if you've seen any of my previous videos, is this beautiful apparatus that has finally crossed a bridge from tattoo machine and pen and boom. Now it has made it all into one nifty, amazing piece of machinery that is gonna just bridge the gap. And again, warning, this is not a how to tattoo video. This is how to use the, uh, the Hawk pen. So first and foremost, this thing is amazing. Not only is it smooth, but if you've used a Hawk product before, clockwise, counterclockwise, or vice versa, depending on where you are, it you know, makes the needles protrude further or whatever. The throw, 4.3 something, whatever. Um, <clears throat> what really, really, really makes the difference and marks the difference here in this machine is the transition, is the actual physical act of holding a Sharpie in your pen. And for the artists who are listening, it's the same thing as using a Sharpie, period. I mean, it's the comfort of using a Sharpie with the comfort of using your machine mixed into one. And I want to showcase a little bit how this machine works because this machine is all about two things, speed and, uh, speed and angle, that's it. This machine is so simple, it allows you freedom. For instance, if you look here, at this particular shot, this is at about a nine volt for more conventional users of the Hawk products and those who haven't used it for those of any previous tattoo machines. Look at the throw on this thing, man. I mean, this is at a nine and, and it's literally, it's piling through, it, it, God damn it. it. It's just, it's just so gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. Now, you won't ever have to worry. Am I packing it in solid enough? You, you don't. You don't have to worry. It takes literally all the guesswork out of it, all of it. Look at this machine. It, I mean, the throw on it is gorgeous, consistent all the way through, non-failure. I've been using it for a couple of months now since I put out the original video, and this machine hasn't failed me once. <clears throat> what I've learned from using it thus far is that when it comes to this machine. The only thing that really matters is angle. I mean, obviously there's other factors, but I'm assuming you're a proficient tattooer or a professional tattoo artist or tattooist, whatever you want to call yourself, um, to know, you know, depth and all that. But the only thing that this machine really, really offers in, in its simplicity is just the freaking angles. It's awesome. You can pack solid. You can lay the needle flat against the skin. You can even hold the machine like if you were holding a brush or a pencil and you were working on paper. I mean, you could literally hold it horizontal to the skin to where you're almost sliding the ink into the skin instead of instead of vertically or maybe at a 45 or whatever degree angle you want to give it. Look at this. I can literally put it flat against the skin to where it's causing minimal trauma. My clients, not only have they reported a reduce in pain, also when, it, when it's, especially for my regulars, I'm working on sleeves and stuff like that, I can definitely see, and I ask them consistently, how's the healing process with this? And I've gotten nothing but great fucking results. I've gotten nothing but great reviews on the healing process because of those angles, because I can almost lay the skin, I mean, lay the ink in, in between the skin, so perfect and evenly at that nice flat angle to where I'm not causing as much trauma to the skin. And that's about it. This machine has not only fucking blown me away times 10, it's done everything it promised and more. Obviously, it has 101 more points, but if you guys want me to keep talking about it, go ahead and leave a comment below, and I'll be more than glad to facilitate any questions you guys may have. I hope I answered everything that you had to 
any questions you had before. And as always, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Peace.